obviously, Wolverine, his blades. Can you talk us through what you have to do to make them look as good as they do? Well, the first one, of course, was all new. They were real metal. They were razor sharp. I stabbed the double for Mystique in the arm and it went really in. I'm, in the choreography, I'm meant to stab her and she's, she's reaching for something, so I stab her and she moves her arm away and she forgot. So I literally, the middle claw went deep inside and I remember going, <coughs> pulling it out and there was nothing, just this hole. And then like finding oil, blah, 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 and, it started, and then I went white. I mean, it's not every day you stab someone. With extended adamantium claws. Not every day. But she just put up her arm like this and she goes, I've been stabbed by Wolverine. <laughs> That's a stunt woman for you. No man takes a beating like that without a mark to show for it. We also had built that very first shot of the claws coming out. I'm in the bar and those guys come up to me and try to pick a fight. Look out! And you see it coming out from the middle. That is a fake arm. The arm is actually like, would make Arnold Schwarzenegger's arms look like twigs. And it came out <laughs> so big that they had to make everything soft from focus behind. And that is real. And we used it once and it took about five hours to get that shot. But it was the first time. <laughs> from that moment on, it was CGI coming in and out. Yeah. And they started to make them like PVC so that I wouldn't literally kill anyone. Suddenly you're not so tough. Do you remember when everyone last year was doing the mannequin challenge? And yes. I was like, I've seen this before. Yes, yes. It's Professor <laughs> X. It's like going through that museum thing. It's like, this is old, man. Yeah, this is, that's right. It's so dumb. Right. There were, from memory, four or five people who were hired who were really good physically, like they had some skill at mannequin challenges, yeah. obviously. Everyone else was just extras. Like that's a kind of miraculous shot if you think yeah. about it. Because yeah. everyone's frozen yeah. and you've got four mimes doing their job. I said to Brian, how the hell are you going to pull this off? He says, I'm going to keep that camera moving. Yeah. He says, because when the camera moves, you don't notice people moving. But yeah, they obviously played a lot of red light, green light in their yeah, life. Absolutely. Right? It's a good game. <laughs> it's like an awesome version of red light, green light. <laughs> yeah. Every time you look at no one is moving. It's genius. It's genius. <laughs> So there's an amazing fight in X-Men 2 with Lady Deathstrike. Yeah. I, I'm imagining that's one of the sequences that you're most proud of in terms of physical stunts. Yeah. The other one that stands out for me is the bullet train leap. Yes. In The Wolverine. Which one stands out for you as a stunt that you yourself performed that you're proudest of? Yeah, they're both sequences that I love and but the bullet train stuff was one day in the bullet train, I mean, when I get flung out and I'm holding onto the edge and I got my head caught up in the wrong way. I actually, it was one of those days I got sent home early with the old, we've got to check for concussion kind of look. Ah, yeah. You get home and my wife's like, hi, why are you home? I'm like, oh, we finished early. And she goes, why are you home? And yeah. I said, hurt myself and I'm not, <laughs> sorry, I'm really sorry. Why don't you use your double? I said, well, I don't know, I thought I could do it. You can't do it, you're old, stop it. Right? Thanks, <laughs> you have darling. children, stop doing that. <laughs> you are not Wolverine. I can do it, no you can't. Can I go to school tomorrow? Yet, yeah, no, yes. It was one of those afternoons. <laughs> I said, this is not sounding like love. It is love, don't do it again. <laughs> the adamantium bath is like the big, everyone must impersonate you doing that all the time. Yeah. When you're in a bath, does it cross your mind? Just to come. Just go on. You know what, it hasn't, but it now will. It now will. It now will. It's a seed in your mind forever now. I'm gonna yell for the kids. Hey kids, I've got something really exciting to tell you. And then I've got to go under <laughs> and wait. And then as they come in, they come out. <sighs> yeah, that works. I love that. Cut to them going, you're pathetic. Come on. You're bro. retired, stop it. <laughs> you're retired. We got ourselves an X-Men fan. Maybe a quarter of it happened, and not like this. In the real world, people die. 
Logan. I don't want to talk about it. Logan. Just stop. Be careful. Right, I'm going to briefly mention Patrick Stewart because you casually give him one of the best performances in the next one franchise in this movie. Like, you have room and space yeah. to really open up that character in his relationship with Wolverine. It must have been, like, a thrill to see him do that. It was an honor. I am not whatever it is you think I am. She needs our help. Someone will come along. Someone has come along. I will tell you, as a drama school, I watched tapes, John Barton tapes on how to play Shakespeare, which he stars in, right? And I remember thinking one day I'd love to be in a, a play with him, do something with him. I mean, you know, one of those thoughts in the back of your head. I was starstruck when I met him. I bet. But to see him really go for a run in the paddock, like, that guy is a phenomenal actor. And so to see him really just tear it up, we have one scene that's five minutes long at the beginning of this movie. There's more nuance in our relationship in those five minutes than perhaps all the other movies combined.